Today, Ryan and I are gonna be guessing the movie based on the negative review. And if you remember, I think it was over, it's been over a year since we did the last one, but we did one before where we did the same exact concept, but we chose movies that we really like and we would read negative reviews for those movies. Today, we're gonna be reading reviews for movies we don't like. We each picked six movies and then we'll have to guess which movie the review is referring to. So last time we did five movies and we read reviews for all five. So it was kind of like process of elimination. We got rid of that idea. Instead, we have six movies each, three movies we're going to be reading reviews for. Do you think the movies we picked that we hate is this controversial? I feel like some, some, of them definitely some people are. will be mad about this list of yeah. movies we hate. But we, we both kind of agree with all... Yeah. Of our picks. Mm -hmm. I, all the movies you picked, I also, also hate. I tried um, to do that so we could have some like good banter about it. Um, let us know if you want us to do this version, but like the opposite, where I pick movies I love, you pick movies, mm -hmm. or I pick movies I love that you hate, and okay. you pick movies you love that I hate. And then we disagree. Yeah. And do a little debate on camera. I've been wanting to do a debate video so I know. long. We really have to. Yeah. I like arguing about movies. Yeah. So that'd be fun. And we have different opinions all the time. So the fact we came up with 12 that we kind of agree on is pretty impressive. Um, but let us mm. know what you want us to debate. The movies I hate <laughs> that I chose is uh, Last Voyage of the Demeter, Don't Worry Darling, That's Megan. Those what? are the controversial ones. People like those movies? <laughs> well, maybe not Demeter, but yeah. Don't Worry Darling and Megan. Evil Dead Rise, Skin and Rink, and Antlers. Some of the movies I feel strongly about. Some of the other ones, like, I could see why you'd like them. Yeah. Like, um, Evil Dead Rise, I feel like you don't yeah. hate. Megan's the one I probably feel strongly about. <laughs> That's the one you hate the most. Megan, two thumbs down. <laughs> that one, I think, is the most controversial really? one. I don't really mm. like it either. I do actually disagree with Skidamarink. I liked Skidamarink, um, and he didn't. So to start, I'm going to read the ratings from Rotten Tomatoes to kind of give you a gauge on critics' opinions and audience opinions. So this movie sits at 49% from critics and 75% from audiences. Okay. So it's more loved by audiences than critics. First review too much talking in the movie and not enough action and horror. Not enough action and horror. Too much talking. That makes me think it's Antlers. Okay. That makes me think it's Antlers. Because Antlers is extremely boring. So <laughs> yeah. that makes me... Okay, so that kind of narrows it down yeah, for you a little bit. Yeah. Okay. My biggest gripe was the entirely unnecessary backstory to the main character. It did nothing for the story and really didn't do much for character backstory. Just felt forced and nauseating. It's Antlers. I got it. 100% Antlers. Yeah, because... I'll keep going. I got a lot more. more reviews. Have you guys seen Antlers? Has okay. anyone seen this Antlers? This one might narrow down. I had an issue with the way the cross was used in this movie. The cross should have more power than that. Oh, Last Voyage of the Demeter, then, yeah, it is the 100%. Last Voyage of the Demeter. Yeah. No character had backstory in that movie. That's one of the reasons I didn't like it. They had a little bit of backstory. Like huh? They had a little bit of backstory, but I don't think, I don't agree with the review that it had too much backstory. Yeah, that movie was bad, guys. It was so that bad. Was bad. Just visually, it was bad. Like, like, the way it was filmed was yeah, really bad. it was boring. Man, I um, wanted to get to the trivia. Sorry, go ahead. The part that I, like, laughed out loud when I was watching the movie was uh, when one of the crew members died yeah and uh the captain was like he probably just fell overboard like, yeah <laughs> ba back to your uh positions yeah. like back to work you know forget about that it's fine <laughs> yeah. and what's funny is there was such a small crew it's a small crew yeah there was like five people managing the boat yeah, one of them dies, one dies. Uh, all right <laughs> yeah let's move on it's yeah. fine i got a little bit of trivia this is the only one that's really interesting not all the visuals could be achieved practically this resulted in approximately 1000 shots being digitally augmented and you can tell you can definitely tell uh in this movie because the effects were really bad yeah. it would have done so much better with practical effects even just a little bit They've done practical effects with vampire movies for like 50 years. Yeah. And they look good. And this one, just no. And the yeah. light, everything about it, the lighting was terrible. I felt like the director was like scared to show the monster because you hardly see him ever. Yes. And in the end, it's like a climax and they're fighting the monster. Yeah. And you only see him like for half a second each shot and it like keeps cutting <laughs> back and forth, keeps cutting yeah. back to the You'd monster. You'd have to like pause at the right moment to even <laughs> yeah. get a good look <laughs> at what he actually looks yeah. like. Yeah. You know those like videos where something like jumps out all really suddenly and screams? It, it was like that over and over yeah, and over. Yeah, just constantly. <laughs> 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 okay, now it is my turn to guess. So the movies that I picked that I did not like, 
uh, number one, Infinity Pool, uh, Moonfall, Secret Window, Crimes of the Future, Curse of Michael Myers, and Mad God. Very eclectic list That's you got there. Such a random group yeah. of movies. This movie got a 80% score on Rotten Tomatoes for critics. Okay. And a 50% score with oh, the audience. Liked by critics. Mm -hmm. Okay, first off, right off the bat, I'm going to say Infinity Pool, but let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> All right, first trivia fact about the movie. This is the first hint. Okay. The director predicted that due to the film's subject matter and graphic violence, there would be walkouts as early as 10 minutes into the movie. He predicted mm. correctly people did walk out crimes of the future <laughs> that's my new guess so. it's either i have to narrow it down based on that like with the violence to crimes of the future or infinity pool yeah because the other secret window of moonfall not violent okay this one's a little bit of a story so i wrote okay. a, a short story for the review i was in shock after this ending all i could do was sit there and watch the credits roll when i finally walked out the usher said wow you survived <laughs> because multiple people walked out early survived is a very appropriate word for this it's not something you watch but endure endure you endure the movie oh yeah it's still down to crimes of the future or infinity pool now i'm leaning a little bit more towards infinity pool because of the ending i think was more shocking in that one i don't know last one last hint this one's a bit of a poem someone kind of <laughs> you know got their artistic uh, abilities out in this review okay. an extremely dystopian look full of scalpels tattooed mm. growths but not enough suture the metaphors perish no personas to cherish <laughs> synthetic superficial I, I don't know that word actually what's that word what's that word fascicle fascicle i've never heard that word in my life so. that, that that's has some, a poem yeah that has rhythm to it <laughs> yeah that makes it pretty obvious uh, I think. 100 percent crimes of the future yeah crimes of the future <laughs> that's it. yeah can't believe that had 80 percent score um, that's wild i felt like everyone hated that movie i mean but... you know what i'm not surprised especially rotten tomatoes critics i feel like that is a movie that they would like when i was going through it uh a lot of reviews were saying the first 10 minutes was like horrible and they wanted to walk out i don't remember me neither i was <laughs> trying also, to remember i'm like what happened in those first 10 minutes yeah that's not a movie necessarily that's like torture to get through it was it's just boring. bizarre I, it's a little boring I, and yeah. just weird for weird sake you ready for your next one yes. remember these are ryan's movies i don't know where i'm gonna put them but these are ryan's movies to choose from starting off with 38 percent from critics huh 74 percent from audiences that's probably megan opposite I would say. of crime yeah. of the future uh this is a three-star review it says i felt like i was on shrooms for half the movie and it gets S okay <laughs> this sucks booty and saw too much booty <laughs> Saw too much booty. Which which movie is booty in it? Not Megan. Not Evil Dead Rise. Where do you see booty in these movies? These movies got no booty. I don't. I'm lost on that. Um, I, okay. I need the third one. I'm yeah. completely lost. Two star review. Too weird. Not sure what it's about. See, because that one makes me think it's Skin and Marine. But like, the booty. Again, Skin and Marine's got no booty. So. Okay. Um, um, not sure what it's about. You have another one. Yep. The end of the movie was terrible. After two hours, that is how it ends. <laughs> That's how it ends. Um, the, I'm starting to think it's Antlers because the ending was stupid and weird uh very old plot and poor acting <laughs> it's an old plot what does that mean <laughs> another uh, one said what did the end mean don't worry darling i guess do you like want to know the trivia to before you lock in yes okay the truman show and inception were influences oh. of this movie <laughs> <laughs> it's don't worry <laughs> darling but that's silly because yeah. those movies have nothing to do with no don't worry darling i think this movie's pretty bad yeah i actually was like offended when i watched that movie <laughs> because the potential of it yeah and um if you watch the trailer it's like false advertising it's yeah. nothing like the movies so many um, trailers these days are like that we watched a couple trailers to prepare for this video mm -hmm. and we're, we're Remember that these are ones that we don't like, and then we watch the trailers, and we're like, oh my god, that movie looks good. Yeah. Like... <laughs> don't worry, Darling's got booty. I don't even remember that. I don't remember either. I'll have to Was there, like, nudity? I don't know. <laughs> do you, do you, uh, alrighty, try to guess which movie is this. Critic score gives it 45%. Audience score, 65%. Okay. okay. Audiences like it more. Yeah. This film's. This made me laugh when I read it because it was so stupid. 
This is a review on IMDb. This film's pace and dark style is meant to reflect horror films of the 40s, 50s, 60s, and early 70s. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of decades. Yeah. The iconic uh, era of, of 40s, 40s, 50s, 50s 60s, 60s, and 70s. 70s. That all yeah. bleed together. I love that style. There's definitely no distinct style between them. No. Before, gore became cool, but that makes this film such a joy to watch and study. Before gore became cool. Yeah, this film is a joy to watch and study. So, what do you think of when you think of 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s? <laughs> I know, that really does not help me out at all. I have to think of Infinity Pool because it's not Moonfall. Secret yeah. Window. I don't know. Don't they? Okay, when they say before gore became cool, this was, you know, good to watch or whatever. Does that mean there's no gore or there's lots of gore? I want to say it's Infinity Pool so far, but keep going, okay, keep going. Okay. Well, this one will confuse you a little more. This is like a long review and I just like chopped it up. Okay. So your next hint continues off that. Okay. Uh, with that said, you can examine the psyche of the mind as it cracks under extreme and constant pressure and how your choices to aff do affect who you help or who you hurt. <laughs> I feel like none of those movies. Secret Window is not that complex. Weird. You don't think Secret Window is that complex? There's no. a plot twist in it. It's kind of... I know, but that's... A, okay, so it's Secret Window or Infinity Pool, which could not be further from each other on a spectrum of movies, I feel like. Any, anything else? Uh, like, last know. hint I have. Oh, gosh. Um, mm -hmm. Don't even know. It shows you... This is the review. It shows you what the descent into madness and utter chaos looks like. It shows you the depth and moral ambiguities of a torn man who's lost yeah. everything. Okay. It has to be Secret Window, but you can't... You can argue it could also be Affinity Pool. <laughs> you gotta lock in. Is that your final answer? No, I don't know. I don't, I don't have any more hints. Oh, so. gosh. Okay, Secret Window, final answer. Wow, you're right. Oh, ah, okay. I was trying to pick bad reviews that made it seem like Infinity it Pool. It totally made yeah. it seem like Infinity Pool. <laughs> Secret Window is the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. What's, I guess so. It's an early know. 2000s movie, and it looks and feels like one. It's Not in a bad way. Johnny Depp kind of like walking around in a cabin yeah just really. losing his mind a little bit we called that twist like so early an hour before the end of the movie yeah by the way. So, yeah i've just I seen so many movies kind of like it and read books similar like thrillery that i could just see that twist coming from a, clear. a mile away i don't want to be a snob but like if you didn't see that twist coming I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know about you. I don't know. So this is Ryan's third and final movie to guess. You have these ones left. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I gotta get this right, huh? To win this game. Yeah. But I also could get my next one right, and then we would just tie, and, a that, tie. and then that yeah. would be the game. Okay. <laughs> so we start off with the Rotten Tomatoes score of 72% from critics and 44% from audiences. Vast difference here. Skin in my rink. Okay. Locking it in. <laughs> you think that already? Out of those? Yeah. Yeah, I think oh, okay. so. Not a movie. Skin of <laughs> I feel literally scammed, walked out, pure garbage, muff cabbage. Muff cabbage. I don't that's, know what that means. That's... This should not be... Oh, sorry. <laughs> this should not have been in theaters. A short on YouTube would have made more sense. First movie in a theater where everyone had a collective, huh, at the end. It was literally watching paint dry most of the time. Skin of and I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, hundred. <laughs> I called that immediately. You gave me the score. You knew and it. I was like, it's it is skin Because reviewer uh, critics aren't gonna review highly any of the other movies. Megan yeah, or you're right. Antlers. Mm -hmm. Skin Marink. I 100 percent agree it's with your reviews. Movie. Yeah. yeah. If it was 20 minutes long, that would have been a great short film. Okay. Yeah, I um, agree. I agree. It was a little long for what it was, and it didn't need to be that long for the tension that it builds. Yeah. But I did like the style it was in. I think if I watched it in, like, twice speed, if yeah. I, like, was fast-forwarding through the movie, I would have enjoyed it. It might have even been scarier. Maybe. Because things would have flashed quicker. You know, a piece of trivia on it? Uh-huh. It made over $2 million what? on a $15,000 budget, Dang. making back its budget over 100,000 times. Well, I didn't make that much money. I it's... know. I am surprised it was in theaters. Again, I liked the movie. I thought it was really unique and original, but I was surprised it was a theater movie. 
that yeah. people saw it in theaters. It just seems know. random that out of all the low-budget like fan films, mm -hmm. that's the one that's super successful. I know. Successful. It is a little disappointing because it was fine. It was fine. It was okay. But there, I think there are stronger independent movies. And also the budget was entirely raised on crowdfunding. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's kind of so, cool. It's like a fan project. I like but. that, yeah. Because you could do really simple. This is a great example, though, of like what I mean when I say you have to keep it simple on a low budget. And this yeah. did that successfully, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Okay, my last guess. Yeah. So I'm three for three. Yeah. You're going to lose if you, you don't get so? this If you don't I get this almost... right didn't get the last one so now the ones that i have left are all completely different so i think that's actually for my benefit i think me picking really different movies actually helped me out a lot to yeah <laughs> narrow it down so 87 percent critic score wow okay so. definitely not curse of michael myers 57 percent audience score definitely not moonfall probably <laughs> this movie is incredibly well made the music works perfectly and sets the tone from the start the locations and setting are stunning and complement the distinct cinematography that impressed me throughout the movie. So which movie has good cinematography? Curse of Michael Myers. Yeah, I gotta... I think it's Infinity Pool so far. Okay, okay. I mean, Mad God <laughs> has, has been, some unique settings. Yeah, I was gonna say. One. I think it's a chaotic film, but one that works mm. for me, especially the ending. At first I was puzzled by it, then I found meaning in it, and honestly, it moves me. Mad God had a very bizarre i feel like you you can find meaning in mad god for the right person wasn't me um <laughs> i did have to read a lot about it to understand anything that was going yeah. on so that kind of makes me think it's mad god well this movie was absolutely demented and came from a mind of a demented director he was truly effed in the head for creating this film great for horror fans and i loved everything regardless the imagery belongs in hell I mean, okay, this is hard because to me, Infinity Pool is very demented, but Mad God literally looks like it came from hell. Like all the images yeah. are like hell. In like, fact, I think it was literally hell in the story. Right. So a little too much like hell. Like as a viewer, uh, yeah. it was kind of upsetting. It to was see. very upsetting. <laughs> not in an entertaining not, way. No, I was no. Saying, not in a good way. Not in a good way. You like we're watching people eat. Poop. Poop. <laughs> okay, last hint, but I feel like it makes it obvious. Okay, I think it's Mad God. Okay, how is anyone calling this a unique or disturbing movie? This movie is just a ripoff of Hostel. It's honestly insulting to Hostel to compare this pile to it. It's gotta be Infinity Pool. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't finish. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, I was misled for a minute there. I really thought yeah. it could have been Mad God with some of that description. It makes me think Mad God, Infinity Pool, not so different. Maybe, One's yeah. It's just a weird claymation, stop motion, whatever. There was another again. review. Um, I didn't say it because it was a spoiler. Oh. But I thought you'd get a kick out of it. After X, Pearl, and now Infinity Pool, I refuse to ever see a Mia Goth film ever again. <laughs> Everything she does is just terrible. <laughs> okay, that's a lie. It's such a lie. <laughs> Those movies are good. Infinity Pool was a fluke, okay? You watch X and Pearl. You watch Pearl and you think Mia Goth is not good. My counter argument is Jamie. <laughs> that's all I can remember from Infinity Pool. <laughs> Where that was, are you that going, made... Jamie? <laughs> James. I like Mia Goth, but for that scene, I, I hated Mia Goth. I know. You know? So we're, everyone's three for three. Okay, we, we so tied. we tied. That's it. That's <laughs> kinda... <laughs> All tension's gone from that game. Shoot. Is there a way that we could improve this game in any way? I've tried to like make it so we can't do process of elimination, but there yeah. isn't really tension as far as the game goes. We're just too good at guessing movies. We've seen too many movies. Yeah. That we That's read a it. review and we just know. It's we hard because we're so smart. We're, so we yeah. have to figure it out. <laughs> it is tricky though. I was going through the reviews for a long time. Yeah. And a lot of people just leave like synopsis yeah. for and reviews yeah it's all gonna give it away yeah i don't know why people do that why are you why are you taking your time that's not that's not why people are looking at reviews right we watched it probably so or will reviews are funny i like reviews yeah. bad reviews good reviews maybe next time we should do like letterbox reviews because i feel like some people are clever on there yeah that's probably where the clever movie reviewers mm -hmm. go I, the elite movie reviewers <laughs> use letterbox so. <laughs> I, I was looking at IMDb and I was getting like boomer vibes <laughs> from the reviews. That's like the Facebook of <laughs> movie reviewers is IMDb. Yeah, yeah. that's the Facebook crowd goes to IMDb. <laughs> I think you're right. Well, I hope 
that you enjoyed this video and if you have any other requests or suggestions on Ryan and I doing an actual debate because I feel like that would be really fun and interesting entertaining maybe leave it down below I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon bye <laughs>